vet day here on the farm, waiting for the vet and uh, for the horses actually. So we can do rabies testing, well, rabies vaccinations and Coggins testing. And that way my show horses are ready to go for the season. But while we wait, baby goats. Here we go. Here's all the kids. We've got Vivian. We got Eleven, who's my bottle baby. That's why she just sits around by my feet. Hey, Eleven. <laughs> yeah. The triplets, Domino, Bestie, and No Name. The little black one, also a No Name at the moment. Eleven's my bottle baby. And if I... Mod's not a fan of this. <laughs> Come here, Mod. Don't run. <laughs> Let me tell you about your auto insurance. Okay. But if we hold on to Mod. And we just hang out there. Guess who can at least get a quick drink? Bad spot that you stop there, Maud. We still bottle feed her, but a lot of times I'll just hold on to Maud and let her nurse. Because Maud only had the one baby boy. Aren't you cute? Yeah, you guys are. Parkourin. There you go, Maud. I'll leave you a go. my tuna, my good old tuna fish. She's a brat, but wicked awesome when hitched. So she's got her mohawk again, because she's just a naughty little pooper. Absolutely naughty. Terrible horse to have around. She just is, she's mean. She bites things. She hates being tied. She hates being stalled. She hates being trailered. Just a whole lot of hate. Which is great when you're looking for a show horse that wants to compete with, like, fire and passion. You want, you want this. You want that eyeball that says, Wah! The problem with uh, winter coming back after it's supposed to be spring. Cracked eggs. They froze. They frozen eggs. I guess, technically, just let them thaw out. And use them fast is fine, but what I end up doing is cracking them up, scraping them back up, and giving them back to the chickens. Protein, they eat the shells, gives them some calcium. Nothing's ever wasted on a farm. One of my personal favorites is I ran this hose, and it goes up and over, and it trickles all the way through the other side of the barn. And it self-drains, so I fill a tank, I shut this off, let it drain, blow it out. I don't have to schlep water buckets to the other side of the barn. Draining the hose. So there's a loop here where it kind of settles. Pick it up until it stops draining. And always make sure you blow it out. I still hear some in there. That way, it runs clear next time. Yep, that's what I was hearing. The hose is underwater. So when I was blowing it, I was just blowing bubbles. And I just make sure it drains. And now I have a water tub and it reaches that one for these guys. Right, Goaties? It's Susie. Hi, Susie. You already had your dinner. Yes, you did. She's only in to get some more calories. She was looking thin. And then, uh, yeah, bottle baby. No, stay in there. There we go. So that's this kid crew. Tomorrow we are going to kick. Hey, you guys go. No, stay. So I got to close this one. No, you stay. No. No. Bed, go. Get back in there. Nope. Nope. Get back in there. Bad goat. So tomorrow, we'll kick everybody out we'll outside. And then it's mucking. All this bedding, out. All the bedding you saw over there, out. All the horse stuff, out. Weekends, if you plan on doing like work full time and then farm on the weekends, your weekends are pretty much literally <laughs> That's all you're doing. Diva says hi. Diva's actually for sale. You are 
my best looking goat too. She's adorable. She's super friendly and she faints really well. Oh, here you go. Ready? I just threw it. Look down. I don't even get happy chicken sounds. You ungrateful beast. You're an ungrateful beast. I lied. I had one more chore to do. I forgot. Hey, going to the stallion and his psycho boyfriend. So you yeah, had drag that up there and feed the boys. Looking forward to summer. Spring. 16 degrees this morning. What happened to the groundhog? Not early spring. I wasn't expecting that. I think we got looks like a good three to five inches of snow. Um, my plans for today have changed to snow removal, I guess. And we'll have to see what we do about cleaning out the barn because snow. That was the way to go. Snowblower! So much easier. Because now I have a lovely path to get to the barn to feed the screaming kids. Angry. So angry. I see hay. You have food. Not the food they want. I even mowed myself walking paths to the trailer where there's hay, to water, and to the big door. Hi boys, you guys want some yum yums? I try to do this one handed. Here you guys go. There's a couple. There's three more, ready? Smells like um, licorice, but it doesn't taste like it.
Where's eleven? Oh, did you find a bucket? Did you find a heated bucket? You did, did you? Come here. No. Say ah. There you go. There you go. Gotta love bottle babies. You're just gonna explode. How do you fit this all in there? Come here. Maybe Bestie wants some. Hey, Bestie. Bestie. And your mom's at being a schnot. Come here. You're full. Look at the size of your belly. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> no, that's my hat. No. Bestie's going to have some. She's a little small. <laughs> Bestie's a little small. She needs some too. That's my hat. You're just a big cow. Yeah, I made more milk than I needed because I wanted to feed her too. Stop eating my pant legs, please. Why did you just bite her tail? There's not like smell of vision. Nasty. Hi, Diva. Can you get the girl? Oh, decide you don't like me. You guys like all this? Yeah. Another delightful 15 degree morning. Spring morning, that is. I have to go feed the bottle babies. Not sure what today's going to bring, but I do know I'm making a pie and I'm going to visit a friend of mine at another farm, Seven Spirits Farm. And we're going to help her get some of her products online so she can sell her fiber wares. I'll make sure there's a link in the uh, show notes. Actually, I think I gotta wrap this one up here this week. I don't feel like doing any more farm stuff. I might get out for a ride. Definitely going to visit my friend, but it's 15 degrees and I'm just over it. I got all the stuff that I wanted done yesterday. So here's to Sundays and the day to relax.